They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there or anyone matching his description, I'm going to kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? That's better. Run along. Uh. Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP it. That's the rifle I need. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus's gun and he ain't got three brain cells. I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Come up! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Over by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Trevor. Hurry it up, Ronnie. You hear that? I can hear an engine. They'll see that body. Maybe if you shoot those lights on the tower, it won't be so obvious. Wrong light. The one's under the tower. There's one, and there's the other. You got him. Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Fire! 
Sailor. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man. Get your sights on me, man. I can't move till I'm covered. You're in my crosshairs again. And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. There's a second guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor. Chopper, just fucking drive! You're so <laughs> Passenger? Pull up, pull up! We gotta get off this runway! I told my contact to meet us just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor! I am aware of this! Well, you gotta get him off! Do a roll or something! While the man on my wing presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you! He ain't letting go, is he? So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or our other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. 
I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, well, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yep. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.